what we need to do is explain to people that debt is a choice. In the Bible, debt's waived every seven years. Mm -hmm. The bubble would not happen. Once the younger generation, everybody realizes it, it's a choice you don't need. You can have debt forgiveness built into the system. They win. It, mm -hmm. it, it wins the next elections. Effectively, the, the, the younger generation should say, well, I want a house. I don't want to, have to be laden with debt. I don't want to be a slave to debt all my life. Therefore, I, and you don't need to have it. And it's perfectly realistic. And it, what it means is people work together for the common good, which is what a, a civic trust does. And effectively, the values become caring for others. You care for your, your family, community, nation. And, and, and effectively, also, that would eventually work on an international stage, but not by what we call a federation, which is imposing one set of values at hegemon, whether it's Marxism, communism of, of the East, or it's capitalism of the West. That's about imposing your views onto other people. It's about control from the center. We need to have a set of values which is neither communism or uh, capitalism. It's based on the principle of caring for others. And the key is when it happens again and it crashes, we need to think about what is money and money is caring for others, people, planet, place, all of these things. And if we start, it's not complicated when you start thinking those basic terms.